Good boy everyone, March is here. Welcome to the channel and for today's video, we will be comparing the PG6 and the Harden Volume 6. So guys, these two sneakers are the sixth rendition of the signature sneakers, of course, of Paul George from Nike and of course, James Harden from Adidas. Two of the top signature sneakers are quite famous right now in the basketball world. And of course, these two players are big guards and they use a very similar foam setup, but of course a different brand and a different density. So let's find out which one is better. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do so, click the subscribe button down below and of course like this video afterwards and share it to your friends. So let's start off with the uppers of these two sneakers. On the Paul George, it features some textile mesh, some screen mesh, around the body part and the textile mesh is here on the forefoot part of the PG6 while at the back part this material is like this very soft textile that is padded and it's very comfortable it has a similar material around the tongue part which is also very padded while on the hardened volume 6 features this felt material from the forefoot to the heel and a lot of fusing, which you can see around the toe area, this plastic fuse here, and this dots here, this is just mainly for aesthetics, and even at the back part of the sneaker, while the tongue is made out of this jersey mesh material. So as for the materials of these two uppers, the main difference that I felt between the two materials is, on the hardened volume six, it feels a lot more secure, so if you're someone who likes more support around the forefoot part, the lateral support especially, you will like the Harden Volume 6 a bit more because it's more responsive when you're doing lateral cuts, side steps. You will appreciate more the Harden Volume 6 because it doesn't lag and the material doesn't stretch when you're doing lateral movements on the Volume 6. While on the PG6, although it's still good, but it's not as responsive to the Harden Volume 6 upper because the materials on the PG6 kind of stretches a bit more compared to the Volume 6. So it has a little bit of lag, just a millisecond delay. I immediately felt that when I was wearing the two sneakers side by side. I felt that the materials of the Harden Volume 6 is more responsive and more secure, more supportive from the forefoot to the heel. But what you will be having on the PG6 upper is the comfort level of the material. You can see how soft the materials are on the PG6 from the forefoot. It didn't need any break in time when I first got this. It's really very good or very soft right off the box. Even the screen mesh is ultra soft and especially this padded material around the ankle or heel of the sneaker. It's very comfortable. So it's a matter of preference if you like more support of course, go with the Harden Volume 6. But if you like a bit more comfort around your foot, the PG6 is for you. And speaking of the fit of the sneakers, one thing that I noticed between these two, the Harden Volume 6 kind of cradles your foot more. It's kind of shape or there's a lot more material that's hugging your foot around the lateral and medial part of the sneaker. And you feel like your foot is being held by the shoe more compared to the PG6 where you're just kind of seated on top of the React foam and there's a little bit of fall or the traction going up on the forefoot part but comparing it to the Harden Volume 6 I felt that the Harden Volume 6 kind of hugs my foot more so I really felt my foot more secure on the Volume 6 because it's not moving anywhere especially like I've said when I'm doing lateral movements I feel like my foot is just inside the cushion and on this plastic piece on the volume six that really goes up here, this waves. It's not just for aesthetics, it kind of really holds my foot here. So I like that feeling that my foot won't be moving anywhere else comparing to the PG6, which of course also has a softer material. You will feel your foot kind of going out a bit, but nothing too drastic. It's just that I was wearing these two sneakers side by side. That's why I really felt the difference. Now moving on to the lacing system, both have a very traditional lacing system. The Harden Volume 6 is kind of harder to adjust because 
of the stiffer material and I forgot to mention about the material this felt material it's not as stiff as the volume 5 the volume 5's material was really really stiff this one at first was kind of hard but after breaking them in when it becomes warmer now it's a lot more soft and it became better over time so nothing to worry about the upper material of the volume 6 and going back to the leasing system like i said the volume 6 has a stiffer material compared to the pg6 the pg6 is easier to adjust in terms of the lacing the fit and it has the swings here in the first two lace loops that really kind of hugs or helps out in the support of the sneaker when you pull down this is like the fast lacing system and there's two layers of lacing on the pg6 while on the hardens well these gray materials are the wings that it will hold or pull your foot down to the footbed a little bit on the volume 6. so if you want your support to be more on the forefoot part or the front part of the sneaker pg6 is that while if you want it more around the midfoot and it's your midfoot that is pulling down the hardens will give you that feeling and as for the tongue part of these two sneakers that's where i really love the tongue of the pg6 because it's ultra ultra comfortable it's very soft the materials are ultra soft very comfortable and like i've said this padded achilles part is really soft too uh, in the PG6, that's what you will really feel immediately, first impression. It's ultra comfortable, the material is ultra comfortable for the upper of the PG6. While on the hardens, even though it's a stiffer material, but look at those Achilles pillows found on the hardens. Those six pillows really hugs your ankle and Achilles, but it has a very low cut shape to it. Your ankle bone is here. So if you want your ankle to be more free compared to the PG6, which is a little bit higher, but it's still a low cut sneaker, you will like the hardens more because it's ultra low. But if you want something that will kind of hug your ankle a bit more, the PG6 will give you that because when you crank up this last lace loop, this material here will hug your ankle a bit more compared to the volume 6 because even if you crank up the last lace loop of the volume 6 you can see how thin the materials are here on the ankle part of the volume 6 and when you tighten it the achilles pillows are the ones touching your achilles and ankle so even if you really tighten it there's a bit more space here so it doesn't really hug your ankle that much but in terms of ankle support like i said in my previous video the ankle support that you'll be getting out of a sneaker is more around the bottom of the heel. The heel cup is really hugging your heel and Achilles. That's the main ankle protection that you'll be getting out of sneakers. As for heel containment lockdown, both are very nice. Just get the right size. It's better if you try it out, especially the volume 6 because sizing wise, I'm a US 11 on the PG6, but on the volume 6, I am just a US 10. So I went a full size down on the hardened volume 6. I don't know what happened to their sizing. The volume 6 sizes were really, really big. I tried the 10 and a half. It was still very, very loose. And I tried this 10 and it fits me perfectly. So try it out if you're planning to get the volume 6 there's a lot of volume 6 out in the stores especially here in the philippines so if you can try it out first so try it out first before buying now let's move on to the cushion part of this two heavyweights of course in the pg6 it has a full length react foam which is i think one of the best foams of nike right now while on the hardened volume 6 it is the all new no it's the all time full length boost that adidas has been using so the main difference that i felt on these two foam setups is the react foam of the pg6 is a little bit thicker compared to the hardened volume 6 although these two foams are really low to the ground the two cushion setups are really thin but the hardened volume 6 has a thinner slab of boost 
and what you will feel on the foams on the react it feels more plush so if you are someone who likes more impact protection from the forefoot to the heel and your knees really needs that impact protection the pg6 will be better for your knees and if you like impact protection like i've said pg6 will give you a very nice impact protection for the forefoot and especially in the heel it's a bit thicker compared to the volume 6 heel boost but if you are someone who likes ultra responsive cushion and there's a slight bounce to it that's what i felt even though the boost of the volume 6 is a lot thinner you would feel that there's more of a little bounce to the volume 6 and it's a quick bounce compared to the pg6 where you will kind of sag a bit more so it really depends on the preference of your cushion if you want more impact protection like i said but just a bit more lag when you're landing especially from a jump or from a rebound you will feel it kind of pushing your foot down to the full more compared to the volume 6 which kind of gives you a bit more bounce or a bit more recoil and there's more responsiveness but the impact protection and the boost of the volume 6 is not as good as the ones on the pg6 so it really is a matter of preference so if you are i mean if you're a lighter guard or if you don't have any knee problems if you're a younger player the volume 6 would be okay for you the full length boost will be a nice setup for you because of how ultra responsive the boost cushion of the volume 6 is as for heel to toe transition of these two sneakers both have a very nice curve in the forefoot and around the heel it's nicely curved too so i would say it's a tie for heel to toe transition the volume 6 is a lot more improved in terms of heel to toe transition compared to the volume 5s because the volume 5s was really a slapper this one has a bit more curve to it and it's very similar to the pg6 but what's nice about the pg6 is in terms of heel to toe transition is because of the cushion is a little bit thicker compared to the volume 6 you would feel it to be a bit more relaxing or a bit more comfortable when you're running because of the impact protection that we're getting out of the cushion of the pg6 now let's move on to the outsole of these two sneakers on the pg6 it has the react pattern as the outsole on the pg6 and the traction on the clean court is very very nice and even on the semi-dusty floor it was still gripping although it doesn't squeak that much when it's on the dusty floor uh, mainly because that's what usually happens but on a very clean court it squeaks a lot while on the Harden volume 6 it features this herringbone pattern from the forefoot to the heel and also it squeaks a lot and it grips really nicely and even on the dusty floor it still was gripping so i would say the traction on both is pretty much a tie but in terms of outdoor use i would recommend the outsole of the volume 6 a bit more if you're playing outdoors because the grooves are a lot deeper plus the lines are more connected together so that means it's more durable because on the pg6 when you use this outdoors it's a little bit softer and the patterns are not connected so for example this knob you can rip this apart then this part will become a hole you won't have any tread pattern around that area so that's one thing you need to worry but if you're not playing outdoors the pg6 traction is very very good and one thing that i really noticed about these two sneakers is the width of the sneakers you can see how wide the volume 6 is compared to the pg6 let me show you that so it's a bit wider especially around the midfoot part here i don't know if you can see it and especially the heel part of the outsole you can see this one really protruding so the base of the volume 6 is really wide you can see it from the top view too it's wider compared to the pg6 if you are someone who likes stability really really fast for a jump shot and if you want to get your balance quick the hardened volume 6 is a little bit better in that department as for the weight of these two sneakers the pg6 420 grams 
This is a US 11, US 10 hardened volume 6. It's 485. So the hardened line has been known to be a heavy sneaker, but it's not too far off. But one thing you would notice is when you're playing with the hardened volume 6 for a very long time, you will feel the weight around the cushion part a bit more because the boost is quite heavy comparing it to the React Foam of the PG6. The React Foam is quite lighter compared to the Boost. So it's a little bit bottom heavy on the Volume 6, especially if you're playing longer hours. But if you're just doing a league game, so that's just about one hour or less, you wouldn't mind that on the Volume 6. But if you're doing runs like for two to three hours, and when you're tired, your legs are tired, you will feel the weight a bit more on the volume 6. So as for the price of these two sneakers, the volume 6 is 7,000 pesos. So that's around 140 US dollars. While the PG6 is 6,200. So that's around 120 US dollars. So $20 difference or 1,000 pesos difference between these two. So to summarize, if you are someone who likes more impact protection, comfier upper or better heel to toe transition pg6 will be for you and if you like a lighter sneaker pg6 is for you but if you are someone who likes stability a lot balance is one of your priority and of course the support on the upper especially the lateral support you will surely love the hardened volume 6 and if you are kind of playing outdoor to indoors the volume 6 will be a better choice for you so that's it on my comparison between the Volume 6 and the PG6. Let me know which sneaker is for you. This has been Marches. Once again, thank you for dropping by this channel. I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.